I need to make a good conscious choice of what we do with the money, especially now since the prices have skyrocketed. Karen Hartman and her husband are feeling the pain of historic inflation as everything they need is now more expensive. They're retired and on a fixed income, and that has forced them to change how they live. The price of milk is crazy. Our daughter lives in Ohio, so she usually purchases it for us, and we get it from her because it's over a dollar less in Ohio. Grocery prices soared 6.5% last year, marking the fastest paced food inflation in over a decade, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. For example, a carton of strawberries will cost you around $6.70, up from $4.43. Now, some shoppers are responding by trimming their grocery list and trading down to less expensive brands. The Hartmans have turned to the food bank. Without the food bank, without that assistance, where, where would we be? Oh, would be, um, would have less, less money. And they're not alone. Chris West with the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank says in just the last few weeks, more and more people are calling in who need help. A lot of those are first timers. People are already having to make choices, you know, between the food they buy, the bills they pay, the medication they have to take. And when prices are rising, that just squeezes their budgets even more. In addition to groceries, Hartman tells me the price of gas is hurting them. She says they have six grandchildren who are involved in a lot of activities. But unfortunately, she says they can't afford to travel to see them. A lot of things that our hearts desire are not going to be available and we're going to need to be content.